Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com with a prophecy update just to kind of bring everyone up to date as to where we are at here in our looking at potential rapture timelines. I've published several in the past. We continue to focus on the end of 5778, what we believe to be the spiritual new year according to TorahCalendar.com which ends on March 8. But I want to begin here by pointing your attention, directing your attention to another interesting date which is May 9 and 10, 62 days after the beginning of the spiritual new year. Torah calendar shows it as Yom Ha'atzmut, uh, sixth day of the month. That's the sixth day of the month, the Gregorian date that Adam was created. He was created May 10, 3980 BC, we believe. That date followed by Sabbath, which is also followed by Pentecost, May 11. The Gregorian date that God rested on the Sabbath after creation. It'll be 50 years exact after the Jewish Quarter Development Company ordered the restoration of the old city, May 9, 1969. 50 years exact. However, when I calculated the days along a timeline, a rapture on May 10 or 11, which you could look at as a Pentecost rapture timeline, would take us to a return date of no significance and a kingdom date also of no significance, which is why I continue to focus on our March 8 timeline. But this doesn't mean that this 50 year exact marker doesn't mean anything. Kind of, I look at it somewhat like the Revelation 12 sign, which was just a marker along the way. So the connections are Israel's Independence Day 2019, 50 years from the order to restore the old city, May 9, 1969, the day Adam was created, the first Sabbath after creation, Pentecost, and the spring harvest season. Now, just as a reminder, I just want to talk a little bit about March 8, end of 5778. Now, our current timeline, March 8, Nisan 1, creation day 1, and the day that the earth was dry after the flood, Genesis 8, 13. It also has a biblical connection there. A timeline would take us to the kingdom on the very day, exact day of Israel's 78th birthday, and the day that Noah and his family left the ark, Genesis 8:14. Interestingly, March 8 is 7,007 days from January 1st, 2000, 7070 days from January 1st, 2000 to Pentecost, May 10 and 11, which is the first day that Adam uh, or the, it was the day that Adam was created. He was created on a May 10. And of course, March 8 is also Trump's 777th day in office as President of the United States. So Jesus would return on March 1, 2026, and March 1, 2019 marks the 7,000th day from January 1, 2000. Barley and wheat were planted in the autumn and ripened in spring, so both the rapture and the return would occur within this time frame. So the connections are spiritual new year, creation day one, the day that the earth was dry after the flood, the day Noah left the ark to repopulate the post-flood world, Israel's 78th birthday, the day God commanded the Israelites to sacrifice a Passover lamb, the year 2000, the numbers 7,000, 7,007, 77, 70, 70, 70, 777, Donald Trump, a total lunar eclipse the day following Christ's return and spring harvest season. And then I want to talk about something uh, also that I find of very interesting uh, oddly, uh, this date is very interesting uh, t as far as I'm concerned. It all began whenever I wanted to look at when was, I asked myself, the question I asked was when was the first May 14? We know that May 14 to be Israel's rebirth date. 
When was the very first May 14? And does it have any biblical uh, connection? Where I then searched scripture for any mention of month one, day 10, where I discovered the first May 14, Israel's birthday, was the day that God commanded the Israelites to sacrifice a Passover lamb. I can't help but find that interesting. And I can't, I don't see that as a coincidence. And, and as shown, May 14 is the date that the kingdom would begin if the rapture occurred March 8, 2019. Because March 8, 2019, forward 26, 25 days, takes us to the kingdom, May 14, Israel's birthday, 2026. So that's it. We're only days away from the new spiritual year, March 8. Hope everyone out there is doing fine. I love you all. I truly do. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.